Hey guys, for today's video, we're gonna be doing such an exciting one because we're testing out some new Wet n Wild. Oh my God, I love Wet n Wild with my whole heart and soul. It's one of my favorite drugstore brands. They came out with this entire collection. I wanna say it's called the Crystal Collection. It's all crystal themed, it's super cute. I found a couple of things also from Wet n Wild that I didn't know they had. I don't know if it's new, if it's semi new, I have no idea, but I have a couple of things I wanna play with. I found all this stuff at Walgreens. I'm so excited. I look really crazy because I just have my face and brows done and my ponytail is so tight that I kinda of feel like I'm like, bitch. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm not even going to drag out this intro. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So I just zoomed you guys in a little. So I did a little bit of soft ochre on my lid. I want to start with this palette first. This is like so pretty. It's This is like another palette that I don't need, let's be honest. But I saw it and I was like, ooh. I found all this stuff at Walgreens in case you were wondering. And I thought I kept the receipt so I could tell you the prices, but I guess I lost it because it's... Uh, nowhere to be found. I want to say everything was like six dollars and less. Um, pretty standard wet and wild pricing but the first thing we have is this right here. This is the Cosmic Collision eyeshadow palette. This was only $4.99. Oh my god. These colors look so beautiful. This is so visually satisfying for me when I look at this. I just, I get excited. Actually, before I start, because I did do my face first, let me just put down a little bit of translucent powder. I'm just such a messy worker that I always get shadow all over my face. So I'm just gonna do a dab. I'm taking a little bit of the Wet n Wild powder. Since we're doing a Wet n Wild video, I thought we would just keep everything uniform. There are so many things I can do with this palette when I look at it, it's like, creatively pleasing, visually pleasing, and I don't know what to do. Let's go in with this one, this yellow one. It's like this mustardy color, such a like satisfying color. Take my E40 and blend this in. This reminds me so much of MAC Uninterrupted. Do you guys remember that shade? Um, it used to be a limited edition shade with MAC and then they brought it back as a permanent item. Actually, when I saw it in stores, I picked up the single. It was one of those things that I couldn't get my hands on it and I, I wanted it. And then I saw they brought it back and I was like, oh my God, yes. So I bought the single and I never use it. I have pretty high hopes for this because Wet n Wild palettes are really good. I don't think I've ever found a Wet n Wild palette that I didn't like. I love the idea of these little mini palettes. I love that they're so affordable, 12 shades for five dollars like what that's crazy so i think that's great also really great for like maybe younger people who don't have a lot of money that want to experiment with makeup and um just don't have the means to buy um you know a, a palette that's like 40 or 50 bucks i think this is just great and the quality is just so good it blended in in like two seconds okay what do i want to do next see this is where i'm kind of like i don't know what to do because i also have this this is the eyeshadow trio this is rose quartz i think this was five dollars too but they had a bunch of different colors this was the one that for some reason i just gravitated to this um i didn't get all the colors i thought about getting it for the video but i also thought it would be kind of wasteful of me because after I did my declutter, I told you guys I'm, I'm trying not to buy so much and buy everything in every single collection because it's just not realistic. Not only is it a waste of money, but it's just a waste in general. I'm trying to cut back on, um, you know, waste in general, but just especially like wasting makeup. And then they only had... I think two of each on display so I was like I don't want to buy it and then you know I'm not gonna use all of them what if somebody else really wants to try this collection and I bought it for it to sit in my vanity you know I felt bad so they had other palettes um they had a green one a neutral one and two others I want to say I went for this one because it's like the pinky purpley tones and I wanted to reach for something I wanted to pick something up that I normally would not buy so I could try something different I'm trying to venture out with my makeup <laughs> um, so let's just do swatches I haven't swatched these I haven't tried anything yet except for one thing that I'll show you guys a little bit later on but let's just see how these swatch Okay, the pink one looks pretty. The purple's a little, purple's a little sad. All right, so here's the finger swatches. Let's do swatches on my hand. Okay, I guess they swatch a little bit better. They're kind of iridescent. Let's do some swatches from the first palette that I used. I'm just gonna do the shimmers since those are the ones that like 
I feel like the eye just goes to are these shimmer shades. Here, let's do this right here. Oh yeah, those are shiny. Oh, I love this teal color. I don't think in my whole collection that I have a color like this. So I'm actually excited that I that I saw this because this for me makes it worth it. That teal. This right here. Oh yeah, that's so beautiful. This is such a fun looking palette. You know what, while I'm here, let's just go ahead and do the other two mattes that I haven't used yet. Okay. Okay, those look a little sad. Let me, let me try again. I'm gonna do a second swatch. Hmm. You know what, those are a little depressing, I'm not gonna lie. Since that teal swatch is a little sad, I think what I'm gonna do is, ugh, don't ever interrupt me again. I know swatches don't always mean everything. It's like judging a book by its cover. You can't really judge by a swatch because sometimes they'll like turn around and just be like, oh bitch, you thought I was weak? No honey, I'm here. If you're familiar with makeup and if you test a lot of things and you play with makeup, sometimes I feel like when you swatch something, you're like, oh yeah. That, that I, I can, you can just feel it's not gonna be good, you know? But let's just go ahead and go in with the teal. I wanna try this one specifically because I was excited most about this one and that swatch is a little patchy, so we're gonna play. Okay, it's not bad. It's blending pretty nicely, but you do have to build it up. Um, so it's not gonna be like straight uh, teal from the get-go, which sometimes can be nice because if you want to do a sheer wash It's great, but then you don't have to worry about like su a super intense color. I don't like it with the yellow <laughs> I don't think they complement each other very well. I probably should not have gone in with the yellow first other than my uh, interesting Choice of transition it blended in pretty well it looks fine um, I'm just taking a little bit more of that yellow and just kind of softening that line. This purple is really calling my name, but also so is this, and so is that. Let's do the gold. I think the gold can kind of remedy this situation. Yes, yes, yes. The gold is coming through. You know what? I take back what I said about swatches. <laughs> I'm going to take uh, the teal right here. Let's do a little bit on the outer corner. Spice things up. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Come. Through. That's cute, right? Okay, you know what? I'm not regretting the mustard color so much now that I have the whole eye done. I do that to myself every time I do my makeup. I'm like, oh my god, this is a mess. This is gonna turn out like shit. And then I finish off the eye and like it all comes together and you would think that in all the years of me doing makeup, I would know that by now, but apparently I don't. I have a lot of fallout on my nose. Oh shit. Oh shit, this is why I hate doing my face first. My nose is about to be so cakey after this. <laughs> Alright, just put down a little bit of paint pot on this eye. And for this transition, I'm gonna use the dark brown that I didn't use in this palette. I used to use a Wet n Wild palette back in the day. I cannot remember the name of it for the life of me. It was one of these in this style pan. But I just remember I used to use the shit out of it. It was all neutrals. It was just like the perfect everyday palette. I wonder if they still make it. That was my bitch back then. I love that palette. That looks pretty good. Let's take the pink. I was thinking this was gonna be more pressed pigmenty, but to me, it's more of just like an iridescent shade. So if you're into iridescence, I think you'll like this. There's nothing wrong with it. It's performing fine. It's just more iridescent, I think, than it comes off in the pan. But okay, we got that one down. I'm gonna take this one next. This purple. Okay, it goes on better with the finger, but it's a little bit um, of a sheer color. I think the purple would probably look better on top of something else versus by itself. It's not really giving me what I want. It's just okay. It's not my favorite. I was really hoping this was going to be like glittery pressed pigment. I'm a little disappointed, but that's just because I'm not a fan of iridescent. I think what I'm going to do is dip back into this one and I'm just going to go crazy and take the gold. Not the gold, the copper color. We're just going to go all out and look absolutely insane. Do you think mom looks cute? Is that a yes? Does lick mean yes? I had every intention of putting on lashes, but I don't know, I'm kind of feeling the natural lash today. I just put on a lot of mascara and I think it looks cute. Okay, 
the more I look at this, the more I like it. This is so pretty, and at first I was like, hmm, I don't know how I feel about it because I was like, I don't really like the iridescence, but it just has like really pretty purpley specks in it. It looks really pretty in um, like natural light, like in here with all the lights shining on me, it's kind of, I feel like it's kind of dulling it down, like it's not doing it justice, but in natural light, it looks, oh, it looks so pretty. I love this eye, and I also actually love this copper. This is kind of like a brownish coppery color, but oh man, I just, I think this eye turned out so pretty. I love this eye as well, but like I'm just feeling this one. And this was my least favorite in the beginning, but now that I'm like pretty much done, I'm really feeling this one. I haven't used this one yet, so I think I'm gonna do this for the inner corner on this pink eye. I mean, it's cute, it's like a light pink. It's what I expected it to be. And then I'm gonna take this one. This reminds me of a shade in an Anastasia palette. I think it's the, is it Prism? I think it's the Prism palette, I can't remember right now. But this reminds me so much of that icy shade in that palette, so. Let's do this on this side. Ooh, it's kind of almost like a little yellowy. I mean, it's still pretty, I still like it, but I was thinking it was gonna be more white, but it has a little bit of yellow tone to it. Let's take this on the brow bone too. This is called the Crystal High Mega Glow Highlighter. Looks like this, well wait, I don't even have the package open. Let me open it up. I wanted to swatch this so bad and I was like, no, don't do it. Wait for the video so they can get your reaction. It comes with this little thing like a protector. Fancy Wet n Wild. Okay, this I think was $4.99 as well. Let's do this together. Oh, it's so smooth. It's so creamy. <gasps> you know what this reminds me of? Hold on. Fenty. How many carrots? This reminds me so much of that. It's kind of like this bouncy, like cushiony texture. And then here's the Wet n Wild one. It's like the same type of texture. I thought this was a powder. I didn't even know this was that cushiony formula. Except the Wet n Wild one has more of a base. So here they are on my finger, Fenty and then went mild. The Fenty one has a clear base, this one has more of a champagne base. Here, let's, God, I'm running out of, I'm running out of arms. I'm gonna do it on this arm because I ran out of space on this one. You see how similar they are? It's just that the Wet n Wild has more of a base. Here is Wet n Wild on the bottom and then Fenty on top. Very pretty. I'm interested to see how this is gonna look on the face. I wanna see how this looks as a topper, and then I also wanna see how it looks alone. So, here, let's do Rodeo Drive on this side. You guys know this is one of my favorite highlighters. I also love the Fenty highlighter with uh, the Ofra highlighter. I like it on top of that one, so. Let's do that. We'll just do this one side. And then let's take Wet n Wild. I put a dent in it from my fat finger. Moment of truth, people. Goddamn. If this looks this good in front of all these lights, I need to see how it looks in natural light. I think I'll insert a video of me in natural light with a highlight. I have so much makeup in my hair. I mean, it's pretty on its own too, but I think it looks better on top of something. I think just for my complexion, because this is such like an icy highlight, I like something a little more golden, but it is very pretty. I could see this being stunning on very fair skin. I would use it as a topper myself. I think we can all agree this, this one is the winner of the bunch. Yes. You guys, I forgot about this. Okay, this I don't think is part of the collection. I think these came out a few months ago, but I haven't tried them. I honestly don't know because I haven't seen this in stores, but for some reason I feel like I heard about it on the internet. This is the liquid cat suit. I got the shade Cashmere Love. It's like a taupey shade. It should be like no surprise. Like what other color would I get besides a taupe? This I think was also $4.99. Oh, I completely forgot about this. I wanted to play with this today. Let's put a little swatch right here. <gasps> oh, 
These are just the tones I gravitate towards. That's very pretty. I really like the way this eye turned out. I almost don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it for the video. So I'll just put it in the center. Oh, they also had um, matte ones, matte liquid shadows. I almost thought about grabbing one, but I didn't see myself really getting a lot of use out of it, so I didn't. But if you guys have tried the liquid mattes, let me know how they are. I'm very interested to know. Look at how sparkly that is. Like, that is so beautiful. I mean, that's gorgeous. It looks very pretty on my eye. I guess I just need to kind of wear it and see if it creases because I have really creasy eyes. This is also from the Crystal Collection. This is the most wearable one that they had. They had a pink one, a teal one, I think a yellow one. They only had four and I grabbed this one because this was the most wearable. This I believe was also $4.99. God, my camera like doesn't want to focus. It's only focusing on me. I'm not the star of the show right now. Right, I'm gonna do another swatch just so you guys can see it swatched. It's pretty, huh? It's like one of those iridescents. Ooh, it has like silvery blue reflex. And then it kind of has like a purple shift. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, cute, cute, cute. So let's see how it looks on the lips. This reminds me of the Makeup Revolution. God damn. I look like I just ate a blue popsicle. Yeah, I'm gonna take that off. <laughs> I look like I have frostbite. All right, let's put this over a liquid lip. Let me take this off. I forgot a tissue. Should I just wipe it on my arm? Yeah, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. This is from Dose of Colors. Um, this is in the shade Sand. It's one of my favorite nude liquid lips. Okay, so while that's taking a second to dry down, let me show you the last thing I got, and it was this perfume. I was super excited that they came out with little perfumes. They're little roller balls. They're super cute. They didn't have testers, so I couldn't smell them. And this is the only thing that I already opened and played with just because I was so excited to smell it. I think I got love. Yeah, love. And it smells okay. It's very florally. So if you don't like floral, I don't think you'll like this. It's like very, very floral. It actually gave me a headache the first time I tried it. And I was like, ooh, goddamn. Like I'm not that sensitive to smells, but this is very heavily florally scented. It, it smells like a high-end perfume. I cannot place my finger on it and I've been racking my brain trying to figure out what it smells like and I cannot remember. The scent will start to fade away. These are only like six bucks. And then look at how cute this is. This is my favorite part. I mean, that's adorable. It has crystals in it. So they had a couple of different scents. Unfortunately, they don't have testers or at least my Walgreens didn't have testers. And I just was like, love sounds cute. Let me just, you know, I thought it would be like a cute, sweet, sugary type of scent. I like really sweet sense bless you baby by the time i got home from walgreens the heavy scent faded and it just left like a very light florally fragrance but i do want to say one thing and i don't know if i just got a dud or if they're all like this this leaks like a mother i don't know if you guys can see that can you guys see that it leaks a lot maybe i got a bad one Maybe they're all like that, I have no idea, but I thought this would be super cute to just throw in your purse. I'm not gonna put this in there. Well, I can't because it's gonna leak all over my other shit. So that's just one thing to keep an eye out for. If you have tried those and you notice others like that you've picked up leak, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments below so other people can see it and also I'm curious too. But yeah, I mean, it's cute. The concept is so cute. I love the idea that they brought out roller balls. It just sucks that that one leaks, so I guess I'll just keep it on my vanity or something and use it um, you know before I leave but I really wanted to throw it in my purse but you know not a big deal only six bucks okay so my lips are dried down let's let's do this again yeah much better with something underneath okay see that that's something I would actually wear in public I would say probably don't go crazy with it just because it has that bluish tint unless that's the look you're going for that's cool but I'm not crazy about the bluish tint. It doesn't really look bluish in the container. Yeah, you know what, I guess it kind of does. I probably just wasn't paying attention. I really like it on top of the nude. I would wear that. Okay, well this is the entire collection. I mean, I'm just like feeling myself right now. I know I have two different eyeshadow looks on and I've got makeup all over my arms and I look crazy, but I thought this was a fun video to do, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you've tried anything from this collection, if you've heard anything about this collection, I'm telling you. I saw actually somebody post about it on their Insta stories, and I was like, 
that looks amazing where can I get it and it just so happened that the first Walgreens that I went to um, had the entire collection and I think it's super cool also let me know if this is part of the collection at my Walgreens this was on the display with all this other stuff but for some reason I feel like like the packaging's different it's not really like to me like cosmic collision sounds more like it was part of the Zodiac collection, you know, like it just sounds like it. And then the packaging is different, but it was on display with all this stuff. So I don't know, let me know. I, I thought everything was great. Awesome, I would recommend absolutely everything. I would say just with the rollerball, beware. Um, and then I think the standout product was definitely the highlighter. Fenty Beauty, I think you have some competition. I love this liquid eyeshadow. I know this is not part of this collection, but I just think it looks so beautiful. And the more I look at the swatch, I'm just like, damn, like Wet n Wild always does it. They always do that. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know um, your thoughts. If you guys have tried anything out, if you wanna try something out, let me know below. And yeah, just leave me any other requests that you guys wanna see. I'm gonna wipe this off because I need to go to spin class. And could you imagine if I walked into my spin class looking like this? People would be like, bitch, <laughs> what do you do for a living? Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my other videos. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!